Oh, uh, today is the snow day, so we're not gonna have service tonight. Um, so but we thought we would come in and give you a kind of a quick little devotion. Um, you know, it's just gonna be one of those one of those little quick things that God gave me when I was uh, in my room today. So. Uh, the song that our dance team is doing as for the youth pastor, or for, as me as a youth pastor, and actually the dance dance team is called Justified, and that word just kept going over and over in my head today, and uh, the meaning of Justified is just basically this: made righteous in God's eyes, so in the sight of God. So that's so cool that that we're justified in God and uh, through through Him, and but there's only one way we can be justified, and that's through Jesus. And there's a couple of uh, things that I uh, want to read to you and stories about I want to read to you in uh, the book of John and that, that just shows you how that we can only be justified through Jesus. And um, it's in the book, it's a, you're probably if you're very familiar with the Word of God and most of you that go to Gateway are, so you probably have heard this story before a million times. But um, there's a woman that um, that Jesus had to go see and it was a woman in Samaria. And um she she was a, a woman that that Jews normally didn't talk to, and um, the word of God even says in in the verse four of chapter four of John says this: He must needs go through Samaria. So Jesus already knew in his heart that he needed to go through Samaria, and he knew that he had had a divine appointment. And if you're if you're if if you're out there and you have and you have never heard about Jesus. He has a divine appointment for you. And what happened here in the word of God is he literally had a divine appointment for this for this woman uh, at the woman the woman at the well. And um he knew that he had to go through Samaria. And he whenever he went there verse uh, 9 says this. Uh, he's already he said he's sitting talking to the woman and it said and the woman said and it, and it says this. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him how is it that thou, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which a woman of Samar- which which am a woman of Samaria, for the for the Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. See, Jesus is one is is is, is um, a just man that he cares about us as individuals. He don't care about he don't care about what we've done. He don't care about who we are, where we come from, what background we're from, um, what side of the street we're from, what side of the tracks we're on. Um, he just cares about us. He don't care if you sleep in a in a penthouse or you sleep on the street. He cares about you as individuals, and that's what that's what he's t- talking about here. He didn't care that she was a woman that the Jews didn't have anything to do with. He cared about her. He wanted to justify her. And it goes on to talk about in this story. This woman um, ended ended up having like five different di- different um, uh, husbands, and and uh, he, he just basically laid out her life before her, and it shocked her. And um, it ended up he ended up this he ended up saying this. He says he, he says uh, talks about uh, the living water, talking about the, the that never thirst again water that 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 she wanted and that she desired. And he, she said, "How do I get that?" And he just talks about being justified through God and through him. And if you if we're, if if we're as person as individuals, we need to be justified through one thing and the one thing only and that's Jesus Christ. And this evening this woman she had she had she had nothing but going to the I mean nothing more to go to the but the, to the water, but she did not know that that was her divine appointment. And tonight if you're out there and you and you need and you need a divine appointment from God, He's sitting there waiting for you. He's wanting you to open up His heart towards Jesus. Um, one more uh, story that I that 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 I just think is awesome in the Word of God. That it's actually in the same book, uh, same book in John chapter eight that I that I really that I really love about about Jesus and shows Him His character is that now that we can be justified through Him is that in the Word of God in chapter eight it talks about. This one, this woman that was literally caught in the act of adultery. She was even, she was caught in in in, in um and the old law said that she should have been stoned. And Moses' law said she should have been stoned. And um, Jesus is sitting there and he knows what the the men are trying to do. The 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 the, the Pharisees and Sadducees brought her brought her to him, trying to tempt him, seeing what he what he was going to say and what he was going to do. And in this passage of scripture, Jesus does something so humble. He just bends over and starts riding in this and in, in, in on the ground. He just starts bend over and starts riding in the ground and having wisdom that that passes even even any even him at the time. You know he he has so much wisdom and he just sits there and he bends over and starts riding and then he then he step and then he comes up and he says, 
thou that have the first, that has no sin cast the first stone. And he literally he literally bends back down, starts writing the sand again, and all one by one. They started, leave, they started leaving the scene. They, the, the, from the greatest to the least of them, started leaving the scene because they had, because their, their conscience got to them. They all needed, they all needed um, something, and they knew that they had all had sinned. And this woman, this woman's literally, her life was justified through Jesus, basically, basically because he was just at that moment in time. He, he, he said, the first person that has no sin cast the first stone. And then this woman says this in chapter eleven. Uh, in verse in verse ten, just asked, I'm gonna say read verse ten for you though. And said Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, and he said unto her, Woman, where art thou accusers? Hath thou no man condemned thee? And she said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I uh, condemn thee. Go and sin no more. So here Jesus is a just a just man. And all he wanted to do is to justify this woman, and he and he and he found whatever he'll do whatever it takes. He'll he'll, he'll bend over and 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 ride in the sand and, and make sure everyone knows that 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 you that yes you may have sinned before and yes you, we, we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But he just wants to make th- time for you to step out and realize that you can be justified through him through Jesus Christ and. Um, that's what I had for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully y'all stay safe, getting somewhere warm, um, nice and cozy. If you have a fireplace, get nice and cozy. Just have a good time. I appreciate y'all. God bless. Love y'all.